Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first retrogression of Mercury, which I can see in the screen happening from 17th February to 10th of March. This is according to German time and uh, it's Monday 1.53 a.m. And the retrograde, the progression will start at 4.48 a.m. So you can add or subtract hours depending on your location from uh, Central European time. But approximately on 17th and on 10th. So these, these are the dates still which Mercury will be retrograde. And Mercury is always retrograde or almost three to four times a year. And uh, this is the first time in this year when he's becoming retrograde. So if I open the chart for 17th February this year, oops. So <clears throat> 17th February, so then I see sun is in four degrees of Aquarius. Moon is in 24 degrees Scorpio in Jeshta Nakshatra. Then Mars is in 6 degrees of Sagittarius. Then Mercury is in 18 degrees of Aquarius. Mercury is going to be retrograde in Aquarius. And Jupiter is in Purva Shada, 22 degrees Sagittarius. And Venus is in 17 degrees of Pisces in Revati Nakshatra. And Saturn, as usual, is in Uttarashada in 2 degrees of Capricorn. All right. So, Sun and Mercury and Neptune also, I see. What about Neptune? Neptune is in 23 degree of Aquarius in Purva Bhadra Pada Nakshatra. So, this is a very interesting uh, phase of transits which are happening because currently uh, the, at that time I can see Mars, Jupiter and Ketu will be with Pluto in Sagittarius. Then Mars will go and reach Saturn and then Venus by the time by March beginning will reach Aries where it will meet Aquarius. Uh, so sorry, I mean uh, Uranus, it will meet Uranus and uh, by that time Mercury will still be in Aquarius and on 15th again, 15 March, Sun will be moving okay, uh, into the sign of Pisces. So it's a very, these outer planets are being touched during these months. So Sagittarius, then Pisces, uh, sorry, not Pisces, Aquarius, and then uh, Aries. So whenever, because these Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are in these houses. And I will be making videos on these planets because I have seen them uh, giving extraordinary results, all right? And there you go. So Mercury is going to start its retrogression from the 17th. So this retrogression will be for uh, 23 days as drikpanchang.com says and I will also give the dates when during this year after this Mercury will be retrograde so Mercury will again go retrograde on 18th June this year and become direct on July 12th then the last retrogression of Mercury is on 14th October and Mercury will be direct on 3rd of November so these are very important dates coming to uh, the events of retrogression of Mercury. And during uh, this year, uh, there will be retrogression of Jupiter, Saturn as usual, but Venus and Mars also. All right, These four planets are, uh, are going to be retrograde along with Mercury this year. And Sun and Moon never go retrograde and Rahu Ketu are always retrograde. In fact, that's like their direct motion. So... This year is going to be uh, filled with a lot of retrograde energies and therefore uh, we should harmonize ourselves properly with this year. Otherwise, we may be confused about uh, what should we do during this year, all right? Because I remember uh, some years back, the same situation was there, you know, all the planets were retrograde, including Mars and Venus. So that time I had encountered many questions from people that, oh, it's very confusing what we should do, when we should do. Right, so therefore, this 
<coughs> this retrogression of mercury which see whenever mercury whenever a planet goes retrograde what will happen first mercury will be ahead of the sun okay so if you check currently so it's very important to understand this because otherwise we we won't understand what what actually happens you know just by seeing the retrogression it doesn't work so today is 5th of february so if you uh, check the chart today then you see sun is in 21 degrees of capricorn and then mercury is in 8 degrees of aquarius okay so mercury is literally around 17 degrees ahead of the sun and what and it, it till 17 february it will continue to keep moving ahead 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 and around 15 16 17 it will slow down and on 17th it will be stationary and then morning of 17th and then from the evening it will start going retrograde okay and then when it goes retrograde after certain point of time it will be exactly with the sun okay and then it will go behind the sun so that is what happens when a planet goes retrograde first it is ahead then it gets combust then it goes beyond the sun so what what does it mean uh, <clears throat> when a planet is ahead of the sun okay because if you don't understand uh, what happens ahead uh, then you won't understand what happens when it is retrograde so when a planet is ahead of the sun so sun uh, represents the sacrifices that we make in this world for a better living basically that's what sun represents now uh, planets like mercury they often go retrograde venus goes retrograde once in 18 months you know, mars once in 2 years but if you see mercury he is very frequently retrograde why because mercury represents our ability to make decisions about things in life in general especially related to communication matters so therefore you will always realize that there are many decisions which you make in life which which somehow does not seem to bring the highest level of fulfillment to us so therefore it is very important that when we make decisions we uh, we we are in a good state of mind because otherwise if we they say you should never make decisions when you are angry or when you are too much happy because uh, they can uh, you may regret later but like why did i say like this because when you when we are angry then uh, we tend to curse other people we tend to be violent and we tend to abuse others we tend to insult others so therefore it is highly 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 essential that and also when we are happy then we tend to say oh just ask what you want i'll i'll fulfill your desire so and therefore uh, we should be very cautious when we uh, speak something because if we uh, if we uh, hurt people then later on we may regret and uh, as they say the tongue doesn't have bones but uh, if we speak uh, if we don't speak properly then it can break our bones <laughs> yeah although it doesn't have bones but it can break our or any other person's bones also because uh, the words will hurt people very much so therefore it is very crucial that during these motions of retrograde mercury we we keep a eye eye <laughs> on what we are speaking to whom and during the retrogression of mercury it is essential that we think properly before making decisions because generally what happens in mercury so everybody knows that if you sign a contract in mercury retrograde then as soon as mercury goes direct the person will call you and say oh sorry uh, this contract is not valid anymore so why does that happen did you ever wonder why does that happen that well, whatever you do during mercury retrograde it just it backfires after the direct motion because 
ड्यूरिंग मर्क्री रेट्रोग्रेड वी हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू डू थिंग्स विदाउट थिंकिंग सो इट इज नॉट दैट दैट मर्क्री रेट्रोग्रेड एट अ प्लेनेटरी लेवल इज कॉजिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम the mercury retrograde is just uh, hinting to us that look uh, you do not think about this when you are signing uh, you do not do the necessary uh, background check up which is required and you did not think what will the other person think if i say this okay so because of that now what is happening is now you are regretting why did i say like that but remember it was you who said like that we ourselves made that decision and then we ourselves regret later and why do i stress about people here because uh, mercury is getting retrograde in the sign of aquarius so aquarius is the sign which represents large organizations in general okay so especially if you are running uh, dasha of mercury mahadasha or antardasha or pratyanta uh, during those 23 days then you really uh, need to understand that uh, certain actions of yours can can be misunderstood by people if you do not uh, put it in a right in the right context basically because you may think that oh i know what uh, what others want but that uh, your, your thought about the good and bad about others can be can just uh, be an illusion sometimes because you may think that i know what should be done in this society for others for him for her but it is always 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 very crucial that we cross check with others whenever mercury is getting retrograde in aquarius so that we can realize that okay i know some certain things i have knowledge in one particular area of life but somebody else might have a better grasp about that topic in that circle so therefore just think about others when you are about to make a decision try to think how will my decision impact the lives of others try to think how will my decision prove beneficial not only for me but also for others so therefore also in matters of finances and gains and social circles also we need to understand that because it's the sign number 11 which represents the 11th house in a way i'm not exactly but still you could say in these days uh, in the mundane age of kali yuga that the uh, 11th house is the house of money so even in terms of money or you know, gains network circle associations we need to understand that the the network circle that we belong to uh, is very important because that decides what kind of desires do we get yes because aquarius is cool by rahu along with saturn and rahu is the reason why we have taken birth in this life if if there was no rahu then we would not take birth actually we would have gone back to the spiritual world but because of materialistic desire we have taken birth unfulfilled materialistic desire which is like uh, which which we can never satisfy actually uh, beyond a certain extent so therefore we have to understand that every desire has its root cause in association so during mercury retrograde it is a very good opportunity that mercury presents to us to Cross check what kind of people are we associating with? Are we associating with good people, with uh, positive people, with people who motivate us, with people who inspire us, uh, or are we are uh, associating with people who are just you know gossiping, who are just trying to pull others down, who are trying to prove others how they are better than others, right? So, or who are trying to demotivate us, or who are trying to find faults always. Or we are trying to show that uh, we, we are not good enough in life. You know, we are trying to bring our self-esteem down. So, so therefore, if we are associating with these people who are into addictions or who or who are not uh, following the injunctions of the scriptures and thereby ruining their lives and behaving like dogs and cats and animals, basically. 
So therefore, uh, if if we are associating with these people, then we have to understand that uh, we are doomed very soon or sooner or later. We are doomed. Our destruction is at hand because the moment you uh, sit with them, then they will inject those poisonous substances through your ears, to your brain, and then it affects your consciousness. Okay, so. Many times people tell me that they are having addictions and they want to get rid of them, which is very good. But the problem is they don't understand who has, who because of whom did they get, get these addictions. It is not that when you are in your mother's womb, you know, uh, you are just uh, smoking or you are just drinking or you are doing nonsense. It's not like that. That has happened because you have consciously and cautiously made a disastrous choice to go and roam with other cooks who are doing all this nonsense. So if you remain with these cooks, then you will remain like that. You will also be like one of them. So if you want to get rid of bad habits or addiction, then you must get rid of these people. That's the first thing that you need to do. I don't care who they are. They could be your family members. They could be your best and best and best of friends. You need to get rid of them. Getting rid doesn't mean you have to cut them off from your life completely. It means that you have to minimize the time you have to minimize the amount of association that you are taking from these people. Meeting somebody does not mean taking association. Meeting, taking association means um, revealing your heart in front of them and uh, letting them also reveal their heart in front of you. So, uh, so for example, if, if somebody has certain bad habits and then um, you will meet another person who also has those bad habits who are still cultivating them, Okay, so then this person will share, the other guy will tell you, oh, actually, you know, yesterday I went there, I did like this, I did like that. So then you will also feel, oh, that habit is very good, that's very pleasurable. So I need to indulge more and more in that because this person is so happy. This person is not happy, actually. He's, he's an illusion because um, uh, addiction mean, uh, means that you are just running away from your problems. You are... Uh, you are so unhappy deep down inside that uh, you, you cannot realize the fact that I need to solve this problem which I am going through. Otherwise, this will make my life more miserable. And, and, and instead of doing that, you are just running away. You are just forgetting for those temporary moments uh, that uh, something is not right about your life, which you should be making right. Mm -hmm. So then you will also start feeling, oh, no, 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 it's not required that we you know, improve our life. You know. We just have to take shelter of these addictions. So Therefore, it is highly essential that uh, we break those friendships, which are not friendships, actually. They're, uh, they're selfish relationships, actually, because um, a person who is into addictions, he never, he or she never likes to do it alone. You know, they want company because they want to convince themselves that uh, they are not, their lives are not that big, uh, terrible because ten other people are also doing it. So if ten people are doing it together, then they must be doing something good, or at least if not good, then that may not be so bad or so terrible that they are still doing. Because see, he's also doing, she's also doing. So. Maybe I'm, my actions are not that bad, actually. That is why you will never find the person who is, uh, who is uh, smoking cigarette alone or you know, is drinking alone. They will always, you will always find a group, you know. They are always together wherever you go. When, when I go to my home, to my hometown, I see. When I'm here in my office, I see them. They're always together. So that's Aquarius. That that's the eleventh house. That is associations. All right. And Mercury represents our communication. All right. So therefore, the replacement is that we have to get rid of these people, and we have to find association of good people in spiritual communities who can enlighten us, who can force us to think beyond the materialistic pleasures of life. That should be our goal, and then. When we associate ourselves with people in spiritual communities, then we will realize that, yes, human life is meant for self-realization. So, spiritual progress has to be the first goal of our life. Right? That is the end goal. Everything else is secondary. Not that we go to the forest and we do nothing in this world. We, we have our job, we have our business, we, we get married, we have our families, we take care of our parents. But, 
we will only do that which is sanctioned or recommended by the word of the scriptures and the rishis because they are our greatest well wishers and whatever they say if we follow in their footsteps as the shrimad bhagavatam says mahajano yena kata sapanta only then we shall obtain higher fulfillment in life all right or otherwise if we just keep roaming with these people then sooner or later we will realize that our time has passed 50 60 70 years have passed and we will realize that we just simply wasted our life not doing anything valuable and at the end of our life we will die with a book of regrets and because of that we will take another birth and because we did not cultivate the right desires in this life that is why in the next life also we will be getting the association of these people and they will drag us down and then again and again the cycle of birth and death will continue all right so take good association enlighten yourself spiritually and cultivate good desires and stay with good people who can uplift you and not with these uh, people who in the name of friends they are degrading you they are ruining you they are ruining your physical health they are ruining your mental health they are ruining your emotional health and they are totally finishing you from the top to the bottom <laughs> so therefore mercury retrograde will give you a chance to get rid of these people and that is how ex- that is exactly how you should use mercury retrograde mercury retrograde is not about mobile phone not working laptop not working Uh, uh, camera not working, ticket getting cancelled, problem in travel. This is not the stupid, idiotic old Mercury retrograde. That that's not what Mercury retrograde is about. No. Mercury retrograde is about introspecting and making the dare, having that courage to make the right decisions, which will give us fulfillment in the long run. And that that is painful because. <laughs> we have attachments to these people and that attachment uh, makes uh, severing the relation very difficult all right so therefore now is a time that we uh, have we will have the power to make that sacrifice you know, so that we can be peaceful later on all right so therefore mercury goes behind the sun you know, and then the sun is ahead of mercury which means now we are actually living the purpose that we should be living okay? and then this motion continues and one day again mercury crosses the sun we again start doing idiotic things and again mercury is ahead and again the progression happens all right thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it or if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit you can always go to the description section down in the videos and yes what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him